lost quite a bit. You know, we lost our home. Uh, we lost our business of 31 years. Um, you know, I really can't dwell on it that much. I think of others that have lost theirs, and it keeps my mind off of uh, off of our problems. The uh, smoke was so bad uh, Monday, you know, early afternoon, that my wife and I said we need to leave. I said this isn't good to breathe. You know, let's let's evacuate now. All these homes all these rental cabins, all these, you know, just search every house in, in Gatlinburg. And uh, that, you know, that's a major job because you have trees down, you have power uh, lines, you know, down, which is, uh, some of them are still alive. You've got uh, propane tanks leaking. Uh, I mean, it's just a multitude of, of things that you have to consider instead of just everything's fine, you know, go in and search. So you, you have to keep it safe. We're a 10 square mile city. The downtown area where is the, the pulse and the heart of the business community, thankfully, is intact. Unfortunately, the outside perimeter where chalets, homes, people lived, uh, that received the damage. So, uh, but the word is, you know, we're very compassionate, very concerned about them, but we've only have one industry here and that's tourism. So we can't get the, or let the message be out you know, Gatlinburg's burnt to the ground, you can't, you know, go there. It's totally not the, not the case.